Hey everybody, Dr. Eric Herbert, Guru Chiropractor. Peace and love to everybody out there. I'm back again for yet another video with my most current new patient, Big Barry in the house. Um, Barry drove from, what, about 40 minutes north, right? In Huntington County. And um, he's been, a, he's been a, a crack addict. He's been a ring dinger fan for about six months, right? Started watching Dr. Johnson's videos. Absolutely. Got all hooked into that. And then Googled if there's anybody close to him, and I popped up on, on Google, and then fast forward, here he is. Absolutely. Right? Why don't you tell him, if you don't mind, tell him a little bit about what's going on with you and why you're here, what you're hoping I can help you with, and then we'll roll right into it. Sounds good. Appreciate it. I'm here uh, primarily, uh, it's a lot of tingling in my left uh, hand and fingers, um, a lot of pain in my lower back area and uh, hip, and also in the neck. And uh, I Googled, like uh, Dr. Herman said, I Googled... Uh, you know, ring dinger in New Jersey and chiro, uh, retro chiropractic popped up. I was nice. pleasantly happy. And So uh, you don't have to get on a plane. Sorry, Dr. Johnson. <laughs> I didn't have to get on a plane to see Dr. Johnson. So, And uh, the fact that there's only 25 certified in the world, I was so happy that we have Dr. Herman here in New Jersey. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, good. I appreciate it. And I love working with guys like you because you're already like, you know, you watch all the videos. You're already kind of sort of bought in and a little more educated than, than just somebody walking in, you know, um, cold from the street without right. knowing about it. Right. It makes my job a little easier. <laughs> so we're going to roll in. You're okay. We did the exam. He already qualified. It's safe. He qualified for the ring there in the full body, and that's what he wants. So that's what he's going to get. So why don't you start by laying right down on your belly here. Go ahead and face down. And we're going to, like always for me, I always do a little warm-up first, and then we roll into the adjustments. Okay. So we're going to do a little massage and a little stretch out just to get the warm, the muscles warmed up, a little more blood flowing. Anything I'm doing, though, that you don't like, you got to let me know right away, okay? okay? All right, let's get that thumper going on your back. Everybody loves this thing. Loosen you up. And also, Barry's been in transportation for what? How many years you've been driving? Yeah, so he drives for a living, and that's not good long term for the back. So, anybody who drives for a living should have a chiropractor on call. Should do, go get a good chiropractor to keep the back from getting all messed up. Loosening up the muscles. Don't worry, too. You're not. You're not too big. I got you. <laughs> I think the the biggest guy that I ever did on on the ring dinger that well, I don't have a scale, but so I didn't confirm it. But he he told me he was five hundred pounds. Yeah. <laughs> But, the, but I got a couple of you guys already, even bigger than you, and we got a good pull. Don't yeah. worry. As long as, you know, you don't, cut, you know, you don't resist me, we're, you're going to be doing great. Rip my head off. No. <laughs> well, no, I get it. I get it. I get it. I know what you mean, but, you know, I, I, I literally don't try not to rip heads no, off because it's bad for business. No, not good for business at all. Plus, they don't end up paying it at the end of the treatment yeah. after that. Stop it. <laughs> Loosening it up the shoulders. Just, you like this or no? Everybody loves this damn thing. Nice. All right. Nice little warm up. You might even feel a little better already, but now we're going to go do the ring dinger. So when you're ready, come up on your feet. Take your time. No rush. We're going in the back room. Now the towel goes around your neck, but really it's grabbing the back of your skull and your jaw like this. Gotcha. Especially with you. My hands are way too small <laughs> to get a good grip. 
but even with the average, this gives me better grip, much better. Your job, you probably know already from watching videos, what's the most important thing you gotta worry about? Lift up your neck. Most important thing is to relax yep. and also keep your teeth together, not too hard. Amen, God bless. And, and also so you don't bang teeth because I ain't paying for the dentist. <laughs> Other than that, I'll do the rest. Sounds so, good. So let me get this good and tight here. As long as you're not choked, it needs to be snug. You go with that? Is that mm. getting beard? No, it's fine. All right, cool. All right, just take a nice deep breath through your nose. Blow it out through your nose. In and out through your nose. Stay relaxed. I'm just working on getting a good grip here first for you. Stay loose as you can. Relax. And boom. Oh. Woo, Lordy. Good? All the way down? Nice. Coming down with the legs. Whoop. And that's the ring dinger. I, if you watch a hundred videos, you really don't know it until you feel it. Yeah. Like now you know. You ain't, you're not a virgin anymore. Yeah, that was pretty good. Describe what it felt like. Um, just uh, a crack, just just an extension. Yes. Uh, All the way down too. You felt it? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But a lot in the upper. Uh, a lot in the in mid back. Mid back. Yeah. yeah it go, I can't really aim it. It go, it releases where to where it need where it's ready to release right. and where it's jammed. How do you, uh, can I get a double? You want to? Yeah, you know you can. You can get a double dinger. Appreciate you, brother. Oh my lord, have mercy! It's in there. You good? I'm good. Woo, lordy! A little bit more spritz. Is it true that it resets the uh, central nervous system? Well, we think so. We, it hasn't been scientifically validated, but people have lift. People come down. People have euphoric, you know, sensations afterwards, and right. they get like, like, like zened out, you know. I got you. And that's why we think it's happening because it's like a reboot for the autonomic nervous system. All right, give me a second. I got to catch my breath. <laughs> There it goes. Keep them teeth together. Who says goose, baby? Sorry, I'm just having technical issues here getting this thing. Mm. Okay, let it go. Let it go, baby. Relax it. And boom. That's all I got, bro. So I hope it got it done. Nice. My pleasure. It's my honor to help you and serve. Now I want to do a little twist in your neck before we get you completely up. And then once you get up on your feet, I want to evaluate your body and tell the people and me if anything feels different. Coming down. All right, let me feel this neck. A little bit there. Let go. A little bit there. The pull got most of it. Yeah. All right, big guy. Right. Done here. Come up slow. Take your time. But once you stand up, look, kind of feel your body. See what you, if you notice anything feeling different. Tension, looser. I don't know. Definitely looser on my neck. Nice. Definitely. Look that, at that. That that pain I had when I did like that. Yeah. That's gone. Yeah, and. When you when you bend backwards, it goes back almost twice as far. It's much looser. Yeah. Nice. So that took out a lot of the lower neck compression, yeah, which yeah. that's where I was hoping if it's being caused by the lower neck, your your numbness, yeah. that side, then it should help. I don't know if you feel any different yet or not. No, I don't feel any numbness on my fingertips or anything right now. 
Was it before we did it? Was it there? It, it's like always mild. Yeah. You know, from mild to intense. But, but it was, didn't you tell me it was always there though? It's so, it was that's constant. what I'm saying. Like it's always there mildly. Yeah. For the most part. But uh, how about right now? It's not there at all. It's very mild. Yeah. So you feel like it got improved since yeah, this? Yeah. Well, I think we're on to the right. Don't lie. No, I'm not, not saying you're lying, but I mean, no, if it's no, the that's, truth, yeah. that's valuable information. That yeah. tells me that it probably is coming from the neck because yeah. we haven't touched the wrist yet. Right. All right. Absolutely. Good pull, bro. Good Thank pull, you. baby. Let's go back on this table. We got a lot more work to do. The full body adjustment is also, it doesn't get the credit that it, that it should. Okay. Let's raise this up a little bit. All right. Now we're going to do some drop work, some, some push down to even release more here, and then we're going to work our way all the way up. I'm going to drop down his belly. Lift your belly up just a smidge. Good. Now come down. Let me tighten this bad boy up. Good. A little more. Good. Stay relaxed. Nice. Good. I got to jump on you like I'm kickstarting a Harley. <laughs> there you go. It's called a body drop. I just let all my weight come down on you, and it gives me a lot more force for big guys. Good. Good. Nice. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Come this way a little bit. Good. Good. All right, cool. All right. Lift up your belly again for me. And come on flat. Now we're going to do some more here. I got to tighten this up, I know for sure. This is when I wish I had like, Dr. Johnson's table without, it was, it's automatic. I don't, I don't want to have to crank it. Use a foot pedal. Good. Nope, oh, misfire. There you go, one more. Bingo. All right. Look straight up to the sky. Tilt, slide. There we go, perfect. Coming around on the other side. Look up again, tilt to the left, tilt. Good, back in the middle, nice. Feels a lot flatter and a, a lot less compressed here, so. Hopefully that'll help with the, with the arm and hand symptoms. Okay, big man. Roll over on your back for me, face up. I did forget to turn that heater off. Actually, it's not on, but. Figures. All right. Slide down a couple, two, three inches towards your feet. Keep going, keep going. A little more. All right, a little more. Okay. Good. Now, arms out like a T. We're going to work on a little bit on the front, on the rib cage, and on the uh, collarbones. Good. Stay loose. Good. Turn this way. <laughs> nice. Go the other way. Woo! Straight neutral. A little bit in the ribs. Should help with breathing. Shoulders. Nice. All right, relax your hands wherever you're comfortable. Now we're going to tug at the knee and at the ankles. All you got to do is just give me a loose floppy leg. <clears throat> relax it. Let it go. Nice. Slide back up. You okay getting your toes popped? Yes, sir. Whoop. Good. Pop. Dropping my hands loose. Nice. 
Same thing on this side. Let it go. Let it go. Let. Oh, yeah. What was that? Was that the knee that popped? I couldn't tell. Something popped. Knee or hip? What would you feel? Yeah? Was that the knee that was... Didn't, yeah. the, the side that you had the surgery? Yeah. That's going to help. All right. Good. Because surgery, even though they repair stuff, just getting surgery is traumatic to the area. Ooh, good release. All right. That's what I want to hear, that deep sigh. That means you're relaxed. Okay. When you're ready, sit on up. Face that way. You need help? Face that way. Nice. I already know I can't reach around for the shoulder adjustment. <laughs> My arms are too short. But we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the elbows and the wrists and the fingers. So just drop it in my hands, loose, heavy, heavy. Let go, let go. Don't push down. Yeah, there you go. Let it go. Good. Nothing really popping there. Which side is the tingle? Stay loose. Good. Nice. Pull. Good. Good. You got sweaty. I'm the one that should be sweaty, working heavy, heavy. Let it go. Let it go. Good. Let's see if this needs a good release. Relax. Good. Ouch, painful. Good. Pull. There we go. Good. And I want to see what your neck is doing. Just stay there. Let's let's see if it got any any smoother. Look at that. That's almost perfect going that way. Does it feel looser? Yeah. Smoother here? Yeah. Good. It was no pain going back like it was before? There's still a little pain. A little bit? Yeah. Where, right here? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to do a little bit more with the massager, see if I can make that better. And then we're going to call it quits for today. Loose as goose. Backwards, forwards. Good. So. All right. Bend back. Any different or same? It's the same. All right, cool. But is it reduced from when we first started? It's definitely reduced. That's what I, okay. Yeah, don't expect perfection from one visit. Right, right. But the fact that it's improved, that's where we're happy there. We'll leave it. Definitely improvement. Definitely improvement. Absolutely. Very cool. Yeah. One more thing. Sit up straight. I want to see what your side posture, your uh, neck posture looks like. Yeah, man. It's almost perfect now. Awesome. So that came back at least a half inch, three quarters of an inch with awesome. one pull. Yeah, I can feel it. Well, yeah. So your, your head's sitting better on top of the body, which is going to keep everything more stable and a lot less stress in this area. Because when your head's popping forward, some of that weight starts yanking this way yeah. and stresses the hell out of this area. Yeah, I feel it all the time, yeah. All right. So let me ask you a few questions and then we're gonna wrap it up. When you first walked in, you told me, oh no, no, what, your, your, your back pain wasn't hurting then. So I can't even ask you how it's doing now, right? It wasn't hurting when you were first here, but. My back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. What'd you say, it was a five? Probably. I wrote seven, but that's that's average. So okay. now, what would you rate it? Right yeah. this second now. What would I rate it before? Five. Like, yeah, it's about a three. Okay, good. So that's improved. Neck pain, also neck pain. You said was a five. How about now? Yeah, that's down to like a three. Okay, decent improvement for one visit, and your range of motion is better. Um, you can't tell about that ankle. We we forgot about that ankle, but I pulled that ankle real good on that left that ankle side. Feels good. Awesome. Um, it oh. doesn't feel jammed up. Um, I feel like uh, you got a good pop and release on the nice. left ankle. Well, actually on both ankles, but yeah. Okay, good. All right, listen. You, my measurements said I'm going to move back so I can be in the camera and look that way. My measurements said you, you did pretty, you did really good for your first visit. Awesome. Um, here's what I recommend. Go home. If it's sore, ice is your best friend. Stay away from heat. Okay. And if after a few days, if you feel like it's better but not all the way better, 
then and you want to go for more, then come back in a week or two if you can make it. Okay. If you feel good, then you're good till you don't feel good anymore, and then come back when things start getting tight up again. Don't wait too long right. coming back because it's like tuning up a car. When should you tune it up? When the alarms go off or before the alarms go exactly. off? Right. So when you, if you start feeling jammed up again and you can't get rid of it by yourself, that's when I always say come come sooner. Don't wait till it gets really bad before you come. Okay. I mean, if it, if it happens, it happens. Come anyway. But the best way to take care of yourself with the to, to create the least amount of permanent damage and slow down the arthritis and all that kind of stuff is to come before prevention. Stay in front of the yeah. symptoms. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming by. Thank you for having me. It was me. a pleasure to take care of you. Appreciate I'm glad it. you're doing something better. Absolutely. And if you need me again, I'm here. I'm, I'm at your service. Thank you. Everybody, go see Dr. Herman, retrochiropractor.com, or you can contact Diana, Princess Diana, behind her camera, 908-224-3080. <laughs> Thank you. Dude, I, I, what he said, what he said. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate everybody out there for being fans. And what he said, if, you, if you're watching and you're like, I think I need some of that, it looks like that would help me. Absolutely. Go with your gut, go with your instincts. And if, if you're within the tri-state area, I'm in central Jersey, Edison, New Jersey. Um, come on by. I got people driving, though, if you're willing to take a drive from all the Northeast. If you're willing to take a drive, I'm willing to, to work my ass off to help you if you get here. So peace and love, everybody.